Bosco Poon grew up a shy, insecure immigrant from Hong Kong. He longed to fit in somewhere, and a Chinese gang drew him in. They introduced me to a world that was so foreign to me, um, weed, uh, ecstasy. But Bosco had a dream, to become a musician. He left his friends and moved to another city to pursue a music career. I came out and, and become sober because I was so determined that I want to enter to the music industry. Two years later, his old friends called him with the offer to make some quick cash. Rent them a vacant house his parents owned, no questions asked. He did. He soon found out they had kidnapped a man and hidden him in the basement until the ransom was paid. They were very desperate. It almost feels like they were like a bunch of animals. I struggled in my head, like, should I just run down there and untie him and get him to the police station, or should I just call 911? But also, at the back of my mind, like, all this fear was there. It's like constantly telling me, like, what if they find out that I, I let the guy go, and, and then they turn their rages on me? It was then I realized, like, what have I done? Within a week, police had tracked down and arrested the kidnappers including Bosco. I was put into the police car and then into the, the wagon, looking at my parents sobbing, looking at all the neighbors, like, poking their, their fingers at me. Bosco was convicted for his part in the kidnapping and sentenced to 12 years. He entered prison scared and alone. I was like, I don't know how can I survive in here. It was full of violence drugs, depravity, broken hearts, pain, screaming, crying. So I did a lot of time to reflect on stuff, which I never did before. The reality of a situation hit him hard. I was sobbing, crying out to God. I was like, Lord, are you real? <laughs> well, if you are real, can you talk to me? because I have nobody else. And then this scripture came to me. Jesus says, I'm always with you until the end of the age. I claimed that scripture. I was like, Lord, talk to me if you're real, because I really need someone to talk to right now. My heart was fully ready to receive God and to have a real relationship with him. Bosco surrendered his life to Jesus. A few weeks later, while in prayer, he had an incredible vision. I saw a cloud of great white light coming down from heaven. And then this light is just getting closer and closer till it, it reaches into my heart, lifted up my heart. I was like electrified. And then all that I could hear was a voice. Don't be afraid. I am your Lord and I will rescue you. Ever since that experience, I, I talk to him, like I talk to you right now every day while I was in prison. And he just opened up my spiritual ears. He has experienced the power of God in his life. Something changed in him that caught him on fire. He was always talking to somebody about the Lord or you know, coming into my office and saying, can we pray for so-and-so? The Lord challenged me one day to pray for my enemies. To be honest with you, I, I did not want to do that. I was like, no, Lord, this is too hard. But he was like, no, take my love and do it. My love is so much bigger than yours. Just, just, just focus your eyes on me and, and just try to do it. And, and when I did that, even though with tears streaming coming down from my eyes while I was praying for all my enemies, I found freedom. So God rescued me from that as well, rescued me from hatred. Fosco served four years behind bars. He is out of prison on parole. Today, he's surrounded with a new group of friends, including Canadian singer and songwriter Marika and Christian recording artist Brian Dirksen. He shares his testimony and music with others, hoping they will meet Jesus as he did. The same Jesus who revealed himself to me, the same Jesus that has rescued me, is the same Jesus that can come to any one of us out here. I only live for Jesus because he saved me, he gave me life. He showed me so many things. He's the source of my life and he's my Lord and my savior. Wow, what an amazing story. What God did in Bosco's life, he can do in your life.
hear that scripture, that word that God spoke to Bosco as he was in a really dark place, in prison, alone, not knowing who to talk to. Literally, he had no one to talk to. And he cries out to God and he's asking, Lord, if you're real, will you just talk to me? And the Lord said, I am with you and I will be with you until the end of the age. Wow, receive that today. God is with you. No matter where you're at, if you're in the valley of the shadow of death, if you're in prison, if you're in the darkest valley of your life and you're desperate and there's seemingly no light around you, friend, I encourage you to look to Jesus. Cry out to Jesus. He is your savior. He's our only savior. So many times we try to, to cry out to other people for help and that falls short. We, we turn to substances such as alcohol and drugs and pornography and so many other things. And those things will never satisfy us. Those things were never created to satisfy us. They are a counterfeit to the love and the satisfaction that only Jesus Christ can fill us with. All of us were created with this God-sized hole in our hearts. And the only person who can fill that is your heavenly father and a relationship with your heavenly father. You were created to walk and talk with him. Just like Bosco said, he would talk to Jesus just like he was talking to the person interviewing him. And you can have that too, because that's what you were created to have. So if you want that, and I believe that you do, but there have been things that have just kept you from receiving that and moving forward in that desire. I believe today is the day that the enemy will be defeated and you will be made a new creation in Christ Jesus. So pray with me right now to receive your Lord and Savior and to begin an amazing, fulfilling, satisfying, life-giving relationship with your Creator. Pray with me right now. Lord Jesus, I cry out to you. God, I believe that you are real and I believe that you want me to come home. I believe that you walked on this earth, that you died on the cross for my sins and the sins of this world. And because of that, my sins are forgiven. Everything is forgiven. The things that I've never even told anybody else, those are forgiven. And I thank you for that, Jesus. I thank you for your bloodshed. I thank you for your body that was broken for me. And I believe that you resurrected three days later and that resurrection power now lives inside of me. I believe in my heart and I declare with my mouth, Jesus, that you are Lord. You are Lord of my life from this moment forward. Transform my heart, transform my mind. I turn from my wicked ways and I look to you, Jesus, my savior, my friend, my deliverer. Thank you, Lord God, for what you're doing in my life. Continue to sanctify me and purify me and make me new. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. If you just prayed that prayer with me, please give us a call. Give us a call at 1-800-700-7000. There's no cost at all. Tell somebody on the phone that you just prayed with some girl on TV and you just gave your life to Jesus. We have some amazing free resources that are gonna help you walk out and live out your new faith journey with Jesus. Hey everyone, I'm Ashley Key. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so we can reach more people with encouraging content like you just watched and so you never miss a beat. See you next time and God bless.